Hello and welcome to the third week of indie game development. Before we begin, I want to say that I'm very pleased about how my YouTube channel is going. At the time of the recording of this video, I got 93 views, which might not seem like a lot, but for me, it is a good amount. And I also got two new subscribers. I don't know who you are, but I've got a special place for you right here at the Void Process. Let's begin. Not much to say about Sunday. I've returned home, fixed the problem with having a limit of 9 spells and brainstormed ideas about upgrade system. Here is what I've come up with. All units will have two upgrades and player can only choose one at a time. Different upgrades will have different abilities. Also, all units now have different types of damage. Physical, fire, electric, light damage for attackers and black magic damage for defenders. This is experimental and I might add more. My inspirations were Diablo and Heroes of Might and Magic. On Monday I've added two abilities to Banshee, Astro Body, which is basically Ghost ability from Heroes 5, and Death Touch, which deals a lot of damage after a certain amount of time. These abilities are chance based on every attack. On Tuesday I was studying with my tutor, we began making custom inspector and unit information panel. However, it took me a lot more time to finish these tasks. On Wednesday I continued to work on custom inspector, made more fields for unit parameters, but there is one problem that I found out recently. Some fields in the inspector are being reset on Unity Restart. This needs to be fixed. After that I've created new environment prefabs and put things in order in my artist folder. What messed up Unity Collaborate a little bit. Thursday was a day of stupidity for me. I could not solve the simplest problem in code. I forgot that I had more than one unit hiring button in the scene and their update methods were interfering with each other. And then I used the most innovative method to size buttons according to their images. Made it by sight. Had a very bad training session. On the fifth rep I barely stood up with the barbell. Yesterday was a good programming day though. I finally understood what was going wrong. Such a dumb mistake. Made information panel update stats when pointer is over different units. And made Banshee scream skill, which is default for all her upgrades. The stun look is real, but I will nerf it. Overall this was an ok week for me, luckily I have 5 more days before I'll have to go to university, I'm currently on the 4th year, and then the load will increase dramatically, but I think I will still be able to upload videos at least once a week, and hopefully my game development time will not suffer as much. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to, and I will see you next time.